Yeah, I want to share with you uh, some concepts about winning. I've written a book called Prepare to Win. And, um, you know, winning is not all relative to how well you hit the ball. You know, <laughs> there's more to it. And I wanted to share with you three keys. Let's, let's say three ways not to win. Three things you do wrong that cost you the victory. I was playing a game of 61 the other day and um, I was faced with a run out of six balls. When I came to the table, the spotter said, you must clean up. Meaning I have to make all six balls. He only needs one ball. I need to make all six. Now, I had endured um, quite a beating up to that point, but I was still in the game. I still had a chance to win. I needed to fight. One of the principles of winning is you never quit, never give up. Uh, so here is how I gave up. First of all, I gave up by saying to myself, wow, i got to run all six balls before he makes one ball. That's a quitter. The second thing I did is I said to myself, well, i got to make that first ball and kick the second ball out and kick it out in such a way that I have a good shot on it or I lost. That's a quitter, okay? So what I needed to do as a winner is, first of all, tell myself I'm still in the game. I'm in control. I'm at the table. I should have said that. I didn't. I should have. When I become a winner, for sure I will. Trust me. Okay, second thing I should have said was, I know I'm going to make the eight. I know I'm going to hit the nine. I'm not sure where that nine's going to go, but I'm going to make the eight and find out. Now, it looks like I'm going to get a good shot on the nine, but I'm going to make the eight and find out. I didn't say that. I worried about where that nine was going to go. In fact, you know, that's a quitter. I'm not fighting. I'm worrying. So, I needed to say that. Then, I needed to make the eight. Miss the eight. It's over, right? So here's the situation. I'm making the eight in the face of losing the game. Now we're going to be realistic. I got to run six balls and four of them are tied up. So my chances of winning are not too high. But that doesn't mean I need to give up. That's the key. Always fight, fight, fight. So you make the eight, kick the nine out. So let me show you how that works. Okay? Win. I thought about the exercise in this book, and I said, well, I'll just do that exercise. And what I did is I said, I'm going to trust myself. I'm going to trust myself to deliver the right stroke. And it's all in this book. Not only uh, is it in this book, fantastic uh, shot that you need to master. It's I Came to Win is also in this book. I Came to Win is the best book I ever wrote. Now, I, I sold more Point the Ways than I Came to Win, but I Came to Win um, is a classic. And I'll tell you right now, it will transform you into that concept, I Came to Win. Okay, so you see I have the eight ball. It's a very thin cut. Put it in the corner pocket. I'm going to clip the nine. Now, I know I'm going to clip the nine, and I come to the table and I say, well, you know, uh, I shoot this eight, and clip the nine, then I got these four balls over here, and the ten ball is in the middle, and I don't have a chance, so I can't run out. And uh, so a lot of energy is sapped out of my system because I say that. Now, if I were a winner, I would say, first of all, I'm very glad to be back at the table, and I'm very glad that I have a shot. So what I need to do is make that eight... I'm going to clip the nine and hope that I get a good shot on the nine. I'm not going to play that eight and hope to click the nine to a certain specific spot. Because if I think about that nine, I'm going to miss the ni eight. I'm going to probably hit the eight too thick or too thin. So if I'm going to think like a winner, I'm going to say, I got to make that eight ball and keep my run alive.
Okay, that worked out real well. Now, I did not know I was going to get that good. I have a choice now. Do I want to uh, play this shot and break out that pen? I got to have a plan. I know I got to make all these balls. The spotter told me, train up. <laughs> and my opponent just needs one ball. So I've got every reason to be nervous. But if I'm a professional, I don't give myself any reason to be nervous. I have a choice here. I like what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I play that 9 and play a safe on that 10. And if you play a safe in 61 and they don't like the shot, they tell you to shoot a spot shot. Well, I'm deadly on spot shots. I can make 10 spot shots in a row. So rather than go up there and blow and you know mix these balls up, taking a chance of um, getting hooked, I'm going to make the 9 and play safe. Okay, so here's the safe I had in mind. See? Okay, now what he has, he has the option. He can kick at that, or he can make me shoot a spot shot. Okay, I made it. Now I got to play another state. See, here's the thing. I'm not going to play this out for you, but here's the thing. Uh, the safe I'm going to shoot would be to mark the 11 up here and come over here. But here's the thing. You never give up. As long, I'll show you. Do you want to find out if Tim Miller gives up? All you need to do is see one thing. He made the eight ball. See, that's all I could do. So I didn't give up, I made the 8, made the 9, got a safety, made the 10. I could shoot this out, but I don't want to bore you with it. Uh, I'm just going to play another safety. The, the purpose of this video is to teach you not to quit, not to give up, not to think those thoughts like, oh, i got to run 6 ball, oh, we only need 1, oh, it's high hill hill. Um, make the 8 ball and you're not hey, quit. get this book. It will transform your life and do the lessons because, you know, it's only by doing that we get it.